face looks so good. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a full face using Too Faced products. Not like a full face, but like full enough, like the stuff that I didn't use that I don't have, you'll be okay. But um, make sure you're subscribed and like this video and keep watching. Alright, so we're going to get straight into the video today because my face is actually dry as hell right now and I'm just like... So I'm going to start off with my Too Faced RX Hangover Good In Bed Hydrating Serum. I really do like this stuff. You guys have seen me use it in a few videos. Um, I don't use it all the time, but I do try to incorporate it in my skincare or when I'm wearing my makeup. So I do apply that before my moisturizer. If I do decide to use this serum, this is the first thing that goes on my face. And it's really lightweight, but it's super hydrating. Like my face was feeling so dry a second ago, but now it feels like whew, relief. And because my face is super dry, I'm gonna be using my Hangover 3-in-1 spray. And I'm just really gonna dry my face in that and let that absorb. And I'm going to do my brows off camera. This feels so good. It was amazing. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know of any Too Faced brow products. Honestly, I'm just freestyling this video and using uh, like all the products that I have. I realize that I have a bunch of Too Faced products, so that's why I am doing this video today. But um, I'm gonna do my brows off camera because you guys, I kind of have bad news. I got the brow lamination about a month ago, and it's so crazy because literally, Aaliyah just was like, oh, my brows are starting to like fall out. And I'm like, girl, my brows are fine. I got them thick brows. And like this brow is literally like the tail is like non-existent. It's just a mess. So anyways, I'm going to do my brows off camera. And I'm going to use, I'm probably going to use my Urban Decay pencil and I'll be back. I used my Urban Decay pencil and I cleaned it up with the Too Faced concealers, which I'm going to show you guys later on in the video. So I'm going to do my eyes first today just because... I just want to do my eyes first. So I'm going to use this leftover concealer that's on the back of my hand and I'm just going to use that to prime my eyelids. Because I pretty much always use this concealer anyways. Like I use a lot of Too Faced products and I do really like their products. So I was like, why not? Like I honestly did not even go out and buy anything. This is just stuff that I have already. So um, some stuff you guys may have seen before, some stuff you may have not seen before, but regardless, we're gonna be using our products that we have, okay? Because I'm so tired of having and hoarding products that I don't use. So it's not gonna be 100%, um, what you call it, Too Faced, but it's gonna, it's gonna be up there. It's gonna be a lot of Too Faced products. I'm gonna give you guys a tea, how I feel about the products and all that. So today I'm gonna be using the Palm Springs um, Dreams Palette. And I actually really love this palette. Let me try to cover this. Um, I love these colors, it's just like, a perfect palette for me I gravitate towards this a lot so that's what I'm gonna be doing today and I'm just testing out products I'm not really gonna give you guys a look anything different um just because like I just want to like test the products talk to them tell you guys about it because I do want to do more one brand tutorials because I have a lot of products by the same brand so I want to just you know use them together see how they work together because typically products within the brand they work well they work the best together so we're gonna put that to the test so for starters I'm gonna be going in my crease with this orangey shade mocktail and that's gonna act as my transition I feel like I never do my eyeshadow like this anymore I just be packing stuff on my um, eyelids and then blending it out but you know switch it up today and I think it kind of smells sweet, you know, Too Faced. Um, Too Faced eyeshadows always have a little scent to them. They try to make it fun. They're a fun brand. Their packaging is amazing. I actually used to only use Too Faced um, shadows. Like when I first started getting into makeup, like the higher end brands, I used to always buy Lorac and um, Too Faced because they just had nice shadows and they were affordable for what they were offering. Because Back when I first started doing makeup, MAC 
eyeshadows were it but I honestly did not have the money and even now today I honestly don't even buy MAC shadows because who wants to pay $15 for one shadow and you need multiple colors especially back when I first started like I needed every color I was trying to do rainbow looks glitter looks like I was on my time the infamous <laughs> you know tip back then so I felt like I needed everything but I just it just wasn't reasonable for me so I used to always um, purchase Too Faced and they had like the holiday collection I still have some of them I think Too Faced is a really fun brand and I really do enjoy their products I don't indulge in them like I used to but definitely brings me back now that I'm like doing my makeup and thinking about it <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go into the shade BYOB. It's just a brown, and I'm gonna take the same brush and really pack that on my lid. You guys know I love a brown smoky eye. Oh, I got it too much in here. I need to probably use a packing brush for this because this is just not doing what I need it to do. So I'm just gonna pack that on all over and then blend it out. And I'm gonna take the shade Saucy and Bossy. It's like a mauve brown, but it's very light. And I'm just gonna place that on top just to tone that brown down so that it's not as muted. It's gonna go with the warmness that I'm trying to go for. And I'm just gonna blend everything together. I promise you guys, this looks crazy right now, but it's gonna come together. I literally always do this look with this palette. I've done other looks, but this is like a look that I always do with this because every time I use this I forget how dark this brown is on my eyes and then I'm like no 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 and then I fix it and then it looks regular and then I'm happy so <laughs> I have a lot of confidence in this look I really love doing looks like this because you don't have to be a professional you don't have to be a guru to know how to do simple looks like this and they just look really pretty like the end result you're gonna be feeling like you know how to do your makeup if you're somebody who's new to my channel and is trying to learn some new techniques I'm just trying to practice your makeup. And this is gonna be like the star of the eye, um, this inner corner. So I'm gonna use the NYX Glitter Primer. And I know you guys know Too Faced does have a glitter insurance or something like that. They have that, it's like 20 something dollars. The NYX one is $7. So for years, I've always used the NYX one. I've never bought the, um, well, I did have the Too Faced one way back in the day, but I never repurchased it because NYX came out with one, so I didn't feel the need to purchase the Too Faced one, but if you wanna purchase that, go ahead. So I'm gonna apply that in the inner corner with like a pencil brush. And I'm kinda of dragging it up a little more than I normally do because I want this to really open my eyes. And I'm gonna take the shade Swizzle Stick. It's this nice pink glittery shade and I'm placing that right in the center and you guys know normally when I do my brown smoky I put like I actually literally put cabana time this um, matte color because I love that matte shade so much but I'll normally put that on my inner corner so that is that and now I'm gonna take a little bit of buzzkill it's like a rose goldish type of color and put that on top just to brighten it because it does have pink undertones. So it's just gonna brighten it a little bit more. And I'm just gonna go back in and blend like the top part of it so it doesn't look so like plopped. <laughs> it looks more blended in with the eye. So now we're moving on to the face and I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I know you guys have heard plenty of things about this. Um, it's an okay primer. It's not my favorite, but I don't not like it. Like, I just think the smell is so weird. Like, it's supposed to smell like coconuts, and it does, but it smells like old coconuts. Like, I... So I'm using the Born This Way foundation in the shade Chai. Um, I started off with two pumps. I don't not like this foundation. I like it after my makeup's done. So like, whenever I'm doing my makeup with it, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have worn this. But then when my makeup's done, I'm like, wow, my face looks so good. So it's one of those foundations that I literally never grab. You guys probably have never seen me grab uh, this foundation on my channel. Um, but it's really not bad. And they have, you know, a better color selection now. Because 
Miss Jackie Ina came through and added, she extended the foundation line. So that was very helpful. So before she did do that though, I was not able to find a shade that I liked, but after the fact, I was able to get a shade that matched me and Chai was closest. The sponge is like lifting up the product, so I'm just gonna try to use the brush. I would describe this foundation as um, a medium coverage. It's definitely buildable though, but kind of sort of not really, because whenever I feel like I'm building it, it's like lifting up the product. But you guys saw earlier, my skin on this side has a lot of problem areas, and it's pretty, it's covering it up pretty well, so not mad at it and I didn't want to like do any color correcting today I just wanted to show the products how they work so you guys can see it does have a pretty decent coverage it's not like a hundred percent but it's enough so now I'm gonna be going in with the concealers you guys know these are my favorite I use them all the time I'm gonna be using chai first for our first layer because it's like the corresponding concealer to the foundation and it just really actually conceals, it adds more coverage. And I actually like the finish of the concealer way better than I do the foundation. And I've actually seen a lot of people using the concealer as foundation. So Too Faced, you might want to switch it up. But what I've noticed with a lot of brands is that a lot of times they'll do a more, a more full coverage or thick concealer and a lighter foundation and vice versa. If you ever meet a brand, not me to brand. If you ever come across a brand that has a super um, full coverage foundation, normally their concealer is going to be way lighter and um, less coverage. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. sponge. I've been loving this for my concealer and just blend that out. I noticed that years ago because when I used to use Kat Von D, the concealer wasn't as full coverage as the foundation and just same with other brands like Juvia's Place the concealer is super I mean the foundation is super thick but the concealer is not as thick or as buildable but it makes sense though because you don't want to have a super duper cake face you know moderation and now I'm just gonna use butterscotch to actually highlight now and I'm also gonna be using sable to contour this is like my favorite cream contour shade because it's like dark but it's rich. It's not like super dark. I mean, it is super dark, but like it's rich. It's not just like dark and has no undertone. It just really blends out really nicely. And a little bit of this goes a long way, especially when contouring. I can like finesse the concealer for highlighting, but contouring gets a little crazy. So I'm actually gonna blend out my contour first. I'm using this Too Faced foundation brush, but I don't like it for foundation. So I only use it for, cons for the cream contour. And it works really good actually. <laughs> but I just can't see how this will blend out my foundation. Maybe I'll try it one day, but Maybe today is not today. <laughs> go back and forth between the brush and the sponge because the brush blends it out, but the sponge really diffuses it. So, ooh. that so now I'm just going to blend out that concealer it has been sitting for a minute a lot thicker it's giving me a lot more coverage and I like that I don't know why I do this on my nose because I know I cannot blend this out Mm -hmm. I see even though the foundation wasn't full coverage the concealer just gave it like so much more coverage so much more of a glam look love that 
I'm going to use the Born This Way um, setting powder. I really do like this powder, but it's just a little bit too dark for my under eye. It's not coming off like that on camera. Like sometimes I use it for my whole face, but today we're just going to use it for the under eye. And pray for the best. <laughs> and I'm not going to bake, I'm just going to set it in. But the finish of this powder is like Powder just looks so filtered, so good. Oh my gosh. I used to think it was too light. It's not like a brightening, but it literally is setting. Like it looks. Ah. I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way powder foundation. I think this is one of the newer things that they came out with. But this powder is bomb. You guys, it's really full coverage. So that's what I'm saying. Like. When brands make stuff, they're supposed to like go hand in hand and go together. So they knew when they didn't make a super full coverage foundation that everything else was just gonna pull it together. Like, And I'm just patting it in. I'm not swirling because I don't want to disturb the concealer or the foundation. And do you guys see the difference of this side? And this side, this side is like really clockable and then this side is like. So personally, I don't think Too Faced has any bronzers that would suit my skin tone. I do know they just came out with like a trio. It's like a bronzer contour highlight thing. Didn't like it. I did see it and was contemplating, but I was like, it's just not, I'm not gonna make much use of that. And then their regular contour powders are just not that dark. So I'm gonna be using my Benefit Hulu bronzer and I'm just gonna bronze my face and bring some depth back, depth back cause we already contoured. So we just want to kind of set that and bring some color into the skin. So maybe a little dark for my nose. I have to do some blending. And I'm going to take that powder and just snatch up my nose a little bit more. And this is the shade Dark. I believe. Oh, this is medium. Oh, wow. This is medium. Okay. So, yeah, I can't go lighter than this because I don't really like translucent powders because I think it's light and then translucent or just translucent. But, wow, I definitely thought this was dark. I'm going to use this more because, like, my face just looks so good. It looks so good. I'm going to let that sit and look for a blush. I think I have a blush by then. I'll be back. I could have sworn I had um, Too Faced blushes, but I guess not. But, oh, I guess I could use from the shadow. From the shadow, I'm gonna use Mocktail as a blush and put a little bit of Saucy Bossy. Because so we're gonna be innovative. And I'm gonna apply that as blush. And I'm gonna dust this away. I know for a fact I don't have any um, highlighters by Too Faced, because I feel like their highlighters aren't smooth and they don't melt in the skin for me they just kind of like they're just pretty like the packaging is just really pretty the colors are pretty but they just like they don't even like when you swatch them they don't really swatch well on your hand it's just like i just am always uninterested that's why i didn't get that little like trio bronzer contour thing i'm just gonna use this mark jacobs um jet is it the jet girl yeah jet girl i'm really gonna just do the tip of my nose And just a little tiny bit on the cheeks. I don't like to like bring it up anymore because that just looks crazy to me. Just a little on the cheeks. I'm just gonna use a regular hangover spray. And just really let that soak in. I'm gonna do some lashes and mascara and I'll be back. And to be honest with you guys, I really don't have any Too Faced lip 
lip products because like I never am intrigued by any so I didn't buy any I was gonna buy some before making this video but with everything going on it just was not even possible and I wasn't gonna order any when I was watching them so here we are but I'm gonna be using my KKW lip liner in nude 3 should have got two and a half oh well I'm just gonna blend it out because I don't want it to be like super harsh and I'm gonna take nude 3.5 by KKW and just kind of like blot it. This is like a messy lip, but you guys know I don't like too much. I'm gonna be using my JCAT Beauty lip gloss in the shade Hollywood. It's like a clear, pinky kind of gloss. I really like it. I bought it a while ago, I never really used it, but I just like how it settles on my lip. It just really adds this like juicy, um, look to whatever you have on but it doesn't like settle or separate weirdly it just looks really good pretty much completes the look i absolutely love how my makeup came out like i said before when you use products within the same brand they typically just look so good together like this looks amazing and real quick before i leave do any of you guys have any ideas of how i can utilize this space i want it to be aesthetically appealing to the eyes like i'm thinking some greenery like i'm gonna switch out my whole room i want to paint the whole room white and get rid of this and i'm thinking like bamboo because i don't want like that palm because i'm scared bugs may get caught in it like <sighs> child georgia got hella bugs okay especially where i live but um yeah so just you know if you have any ideas let me know because i have a lot of time gonna be home a lot and i need some ideas but anyways you guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one